What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Albuquerque Vipers franchise on Madden 07. Last week, we were able to upset the New Orleans Saints, and the newspaper predicts us to win this week here against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Take a look at some of these practice highlights from Orlando Cross. That great throw there. And another one here going deep. And this one's caught there. So he's looking pretty nice in practice. And he looked pretty solid last week against the New Orleans Saints as well. This game here, it's a little bit of a toilet bowl between the number one and number two draft picking teams from last season. We finished 0-16 last year. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers 3-13, but both teams currently undefeated at 1-0, so maybe both teams here are turning around their franchises. The Bucks they had plenty of uh, quarterbacks available at that number two position, but instead they're sticking with Chris Sims, and they drafted a left tackle, Gaffney. Here kicking off the ball game right before that, we saw the standings in the NFC West. And would you look at that? We are number one in the division. So who would have thunk it? Chris Sims still the quarterback here. He's looking to throw, dumping it off to Cadillac Williams. A good decision there. Gain of three. Now Cadillac, he's going to run it up the middle and he picks up the first down there. I just want to give a quick thank you to everybody who left a comment and viewed and liked uh, my week one video, season two, week one. Uh, I really do appreciate all those comments and whatnot. And then really just also to everyone who subscribed, especially all my new subscribers, the channel's been growing pretty decently for a small channel like me as of recent. So just a thank you to everyone out there who's uh, been watching my videos and whatnot. I really do appreciate it. That's Bruce on the carry, the rookie running back, picking up three yards. Chris Sims is looking to throw, dumping it off to Clayton, who picks up the first down, bouncing off tacklers, and then gets hit by Pauly. First down and 10 for Tampa Bay. Karnak Williams is going to be running it up the middle there. Second down and seven. Sims dumping this one off in a good play there by the linebacker, knocking that one down. Third down and seven. Sims looking to throw Clayton has the reception and that moves the chains First down and ten a toss out to the right for Cadillac Williams stiff arming a man there picking up the first down down inside the 10 yard line First down and goal they're gonna give it to polite the new fullback in Tampa Mike Alscott He's gone Second down and goal a toss out to the left Cadillac Williams running and gets this inside the five so now it's going to be third down and goal to give it to Polite. He's in the end zone for the touchdown. But there's holding on that play by the second overall pick, Gaffney, there. So they're going to have to redo third down and goal. Sims is looking to throw. Throwing this one to the end zone. Incomplete. So now instead of a touchdown, they have to try a Matt Bryant field goal here, which is up and good. So now Orlando cross his first game in Albuquerque, but it's going to be a run for Michael Bennett. Also his first game in Albuquerque. It's a great run there. He had a great game last week, getting over 100 yards there and starting off with a good run. His next run, though, is going to lose two yards and there is holding. First down and 20 now. Harris has the reception down to the 30-yard line. Second down and 13. Orlando cross under pressure and he's going to be sacked. Third down and 26 now. It's a high snap for Orlando. He's looking to throw. Hit as he let it go. Tipped and intercepted by straight. So unfortunate there. That's not really all on cross. He got hit as he let that one go. And now Tampa Bay's got the football. Sims is looking to throw. He gets hit as he lets that one go as well. But he's able to complete it to Hilliard. Cadillac Williams running this to the right side. Or left side rather. Picking up the first. They're going to give it to him again, running up the middle, but just a single yard or two there. They're going to give it to him yet again, running this one to the left, making a move, makes another move, and he's down to the 10-yard line again. First down and goal, Chris Sims audibling at the line, giving it to Williams, who gets stuffed by Roger Wicks. Second down and goal now. Sims is looking to throw, going to the end zone, ah, should have been intercepted by Minter, he was Basically, the wide receiver ran the route for him and everything there, but unable to pick it off. That pass on third down and goal incomplete. So Matt Bryant comes out and kicks his second field goal today. So now looking to bounce back from that interception. We're going to start off with a run with Michael Bennett, but that's not going to be going anywhere. 
crosses going over the middle. Glenn Nash with the reception and the first. Michael Robinson ties this one back to cross. It's a flea flicker going deep. Look at that arm strength there. Incomplete pass, but still just a flick of the wrist. And it is already down to their 20-yard line. Throwing on the move here, and that pass is going to be incomplete. Third down and 10 now for Orlando Cross. Running around, just barely able to get the throw off. And it's caught by Drew Bennett. Wow! What a throw, what a catch. And it's much deserving of a replay. Under a lot of pressure there, he kept backing up. Able to just barely float it over the DB. And Drew Bennett gets the reception. Michael Bennett, now he's running this one to the right side. Makes the move and picks up the first. Going to give it to him again, a counter to the right side. He outruns the lead blocker there, just too fast for his own good. Second down and two, Orlando Cross running around, and he's going to be sacked. Couldn't get that throw off. Third down and 14 now. Cross is looking to throw yet again, running to his right and off the mark there. His throwing on the move definitely needs to improve. Polite gets the handoff up the middle, and he picks up two. They're going to give it to him again up the middle, and this makes it third down and short. Third and two, Cadillac Williams with the ball in his hand. Spin move and picking up the first down before getting punished. Just a minute left now in the half. Sims throwing, and that pass is going to fall incomplete. Williams, nope, it's going to be play action. And now Williams, the wide receiver, making a big catch there at the 45-yard line. Sims, 6 of 12 thus far today, running around in the pocket, going to the right, and this one's going to be incomplete, knocked down by Ike Taylor. Sims, he's going to the right side again, that one should have been intercepted by Taylor. Third down and 10. Sims, he's going to the right side again, testing Ike Taylor again, and this time gets the best of him, moving the chains there. And Corals is injured on that play, hopefully he'll be alright. Play action going to the left there. That's Alex Smith, not the quarterback, but the tight end getting the reception there, moving the chains. Sims going to the corner of the end zone and incomplete. We get an update on Corals, and he has a broken collarbone and is going to be missing the rest of the season. So that's a big hit here for Albuquerque. Despite him just being a 50-some overall, he led us in sacks last season with 10. Here at Tampa Bay, they're attempting a field goal. It is up and good. Matt Bryant, 3-for-3 three three today. Just three seconds left on the clock, and we're going to try a Hail Mary here. Cross going up top, looking for Phillips, but instead it's intercepted by Phillips here, and he's getting a pretty good return. Makes a move, and then finally goes out of bounds inside the 30-yard line there. That's going to bring us to halftime where you're down 9-0. to zero. Can we put points up here in the second half? Michael Bennett, he's running to the right side. Another good run for him there. He's gotten some good chunk rushes his first and second games here in Albuquerque. Running it to the left there. It's another good run, picking up seven. Play action pass here. Cross going to the left side, looking for Phillips. Caught but out of bounds. Third down and three going to the left, looking for Phillips again, but incomplete. Fourth down and three. An interesting call here going for it. Cross running to his right, throwing on the move, and once again off the mark when throwing on the run. Williams gets the carry now. Tampa Bay has good field position already in Vipers territory. Going to the left there, Williams has the reception. He lost the football though. Bavinox is there with the fumble recovery. He's across the 30 and knocked down there at the 40-yard line. But Tampa Bay is going to challenge the fumble as Williams may have been down. Looking at the replay here, it's hard to tell from this angle. We got Pauly in the way. Ref comes out to let us know what he saw, and the play stands. So a turnover going for Albuquerque here. We're going to start off with a Michael Bennett run, but that's not going to be going anywhere. Orlando Cross, he's going to be sacked there. Third down and 19 now. Cross running around, throwing on the move. Glenn Nash with the catch across the 50-yard line. Wow! Orlando Cross does it again. He's done that twice this game, though, under a lot of pressure. He backs up like 10 yards behind the line of scrimmage, just throwing on the move, just a flick of the wrist, picking up 20 yards there. But then on the very next play, he's going to be sacked. 
Here goes the cross again, and he's going to be sacked back-to-back -back plays. So now it's going to be third down and 29, running to his right, saying a prayer, throwing it up, and there's not even a receiver nearby. Polite running this on the next Buccaneers drive, and he picks up three yards there. Second down and seven, Williams running, but he's not going to be going very far. Third down and six now for Christopher Sims, looking to throw, and he's going to be sacked on that play. That's Tom Lang. So forcing a punt there. Michael Bennett running this to the right and picking up the first. Fresh set of downs here giving it to Michael Bennett again. Going up the gap picking up four yards. On second down and six. Orlando Cross. He's looking to throw. Looking for Glenesh. Tipped and then caught by Drew Bennett across the 30 yard line there. So not his intended receiver but still caught for the first. Bennett going up the middle about one or two yards there. Going to give it to him again. Up the gut, picking up the first down. Drew Bennett, or Michael Bennett rather, running the football. He's been doing very well at it this year. Cross rolling to his left, throwing on the move. Incomplete. That's Drew Bennett now that he was looking for. Michael Bennett running it up the middle. It's confusing having two stars on offense named Bennett. But hey, as long as they keep making plays, I'm all for it. LaMarcus Stern going up the middle on third and inches, picking up the first. Now Bennett on the carry. He's not going to be going anywhere. In fact, he lost a yard or two. Cross rolling to his left. He's got Harris open, but leads him out of bounds there. That would have been a touchdown if he just throws it a bit more inside of the end zone there. Looking for Glenn Nash on third down. Incomplete. So out comes Grammatica to attempt his first field goal on this young season. It is up and good. We enter the fourth quarter now. Tampa trying to lock up this victory, this game of field goals thus far. Becht has the reception there, and now good pick up five yards. Williams running and getting punished in the backfield there by Pauly, who's now shaken up after laying down the law. We'll get an update on him here in a minute. Third down and six. Sims under pressure, and he finds Becht again there for the first down. Fresh set of downs for Tampa. They're going to give it to Williams. Going right up the middle. A big run there. They're going to give it to him yet again. And he's fighting for everything that he can get. It's going to be a gain of five. We get an update on Polly Sprained elbow. He's going to be missing the next three weeks now. Tight end going in motion. They're going to give it to Cadillac Williams. Fighting for everything he can get. And it's going to be third down and inches. They give it to Bruce, the rookie. He's running the wrong way now. Breaking off tackles. And he's in open space now across the 15. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa. Man, that should have been a tackle for loss there. But we just couldn't catch him. We couldn't tackle him. He broke off that tackle there. And everyone was already behind him at that point. And he just had a free run to the end zone. Going for two now. They're going to give it to Bruce again, and he is in the end zone. That makes this a 14-point game in the fourth quarter now. Trying to get back into this game. It's going to be play action. Just barely able to get that pass off. Simeon Rice all over him. Cross throwing this one. A nice connection there to Drew Bennett. Moves the sticks. New set of downs. Cross looking to throw, and he's going to go down. Sacked on that play. Second down and long now. Cross looking to throw again, going to the left side, and a nice catch there by Charles Phillips makes this third down and manageable, but third down and three just became third down and eight. Third and eight now, Cross running to his right, he's got to do something with this one, throwing this one and intercepted there, his third pick on the day. Now Tampa's got the football. Just over two minutes left in the game. They're trying to put this one away. Williams running. He picks up a solid yard. Is there. We're at the two-minute warning. Running it again and picking up the first down. Once again, Cadillac Williams running and picking up just one yard now. They're going to give it to him on the draw, but he's met immediately there. Third down and seven. It's going to be play action now. Trying to catch us off guard, but it's actually going to work out in our favor now as we're going to be able to save a timeout. Going deep for Nash, who jumps up and gets it across the 50-yard line. What a catch there. Orlando Cross has got time in the pocket, running to his right, trying to dump it off to Michael Bennett, but he can't even get it to him there. Really got to improve his throw on the move. Cross throwing this one. Phillips has the catch at about the 30-yard line. A good play there. 
Orlando Cross has got time trying to go deep here for Glenn Nash who has the catch. Another big reception for Glenn Nash. He's got three of those today. Going to the end zone now for Nash and that could have been a fourth win there. He drops that would have been touchdown. Going to the right, Bennett with the reception down inside the five-yard line. We're going to have to burn a timeout as Orlando Cross is hurt on that play. So in comes Josh McCown. Throw into the end zone, caught by Drew Bennett for the touchdown. So now we got to try this onside kick here. Just 17 seconds left in the game, only down by seven. And, and we were able to recover it. It bounced off a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. We've got the football. McCown, he's still in the ball game. Going to the left side, looking for Phillips, but intercepted by Brian Kelly. And that's going to put an end to this game. We fall to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 17-10. McCown just doesn't quite have the arm strength that Orlando Cross has got there. Orlando Cross, he will be fine. He was just out for a couple of plays there, but unfortunately, those were the last plays of the game. We could have maybe come back there, especially with that onside kick recovery. It's been a long time since I've last recovered an onside kick, and I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've ever done it here on the channel. Yeah, Orlando Cross missing the rest of the game there. Sacked six times through three interceptions. No touchdowns, though. They probably would have had one there at the end that Josh McCown ended up throwing. Glenn Nash had some big-time receptions there, but that one drop could have been costly because if he catches that, then the next play doesn't happen and Cross isn't getting hurt. But uh, we can't we can't live on what-ifs and whatnot as we fall in this game. Polly he's hurt for the next three weeks. So that's a little bit of a hit to us. And then also Coral's injury as well. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a moist rest of your day. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey. Goodbye.